Hey everybody, it's BC here, and welcome to another episode of Automation Empire. And uh, I've been watching things going on around here, and uh, needless to say, I know I'm doing things not exactly the way I should be doing them. Uh, I decided to do a little bit of a solo play after the last episode, and uh, I've learned a few things, and we're going to make a few changes. I've been letting things go to build up some funds, I'm waiting for a couple more trucks to go through. Uh, these drones are really starting to bug me. And they'll all be at one end, and then stuff will show up here. They'll all flock down here. Meanwhile, uh, the coal's building up over there, and these trucks just sit idle like they are. So that is a bit of an issue. Uh, one of the things that we'll try to get into is the the truck loader. Now, we're doing pretty good. Uh, got about close to 2,000 kilos. Uh, going to need more for that. Uh, needless to say, we're going to need another road. Uh, we also need to improve things a little bit. Uh, one of the other things about uh, the research, for instance, like the truck loader, it's coal. I'm researching coal ore. Now, I'm, I'm sorry. Uh, the, co the coal itself comes out in crates. Now, I didn't know about being able to use the crates on a step conveyor to actually suck it back into a tank and send that to the research base. Now, as you can see, we do have a whole bunch of research ready to go. I'm going to go ahead and clean this because this is actually not what I was trying to research, but it gets us some research points, which are always good. So what I want to do is I want to try to sort of centralize everything in one facility. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to wait for this truck to go through. I'm going to pause it, and then uh, I think we're going to start de demolishing some stuff. Uh, we're going to start bringing in a lot of resources and get them processed. And wait for it. Okay. Uh, one of the things I've noticed, and I've known this, and I just never really tried to make it efficient, is uh, machines have a certain speed. Now, once I get water in here, as you can see, I can increase the. Uh, oh, it just decreases the power. I thought you could actually hook this up to water. I guess it was just this one here. But it incre uh, increases the extraction speed by 30%. So that means I can almost double the speed, so probably one every six seconds. So then that means even one miner would still be able to... Well, two miners would be, still take be needed to get one of these running at full speed. Uh, the refiner, however, is one every three seconds. I thought there was something that was three. Oh yes, the crate maker. The crate maker was every three. So realistically, one crate maker can handle three miners. So doing it this way is really not necess necessary. And with the output that these are putting out, it's not really, it, as you can see, it's creating a bit of a backlog. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop rambling here. I'm going to start clearing some stuff out and start planning our next move. Uh, we will be adding more roads because the more roads we have, the more truck stops we have and the more trucks we can get in. So I shall re return. Okay, so I've everything taken out, and as you can see, I have $650,000 now, so that's actually pretty good. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to start over here, because this is actually going to be an easy one to start with. Uh, what we're gonna do, I'm going to do is I'm going to start pumping stuff into containers, and this is something I didn't really think about doing at first, but it is doable. Uh, the problem is, though, is we're limited to our connection length. We can only use one section, one piece. So if you can actually... it to line up then it could work but in this case it's not going to uh, I could probably get two of them possibly hang on let's see if I can actually get this no it's not gonna go there it's not gonna go there might go on this side though No, it won't even go there. Okay, then uh, it's going to have to be done differently then. I think we could probably get away with using the small one here. Uh, probably... Yeah, I think this will actually work. Go like that. This one will be a little tricky. So, I'm going to take these pipes going like so there and then uh, have this one go in that direction so it's all going to feed into this one 
And then from here, maybe we can sneak in a big tank. I don't think that's going to happen. Although the big tank could go there. And then that still won't get in. Hmm. That might have to be a minecart. Then that's what we'll do. We'll have an intake there. We'll have an output on this side. Uh, hmm. Whether that be better there? Cause I, I gotta think about how the minecart's gonna go too, right? It can only go a certain. Give me a second. I know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take that. Take that out there. I'm gonna put it on this side because I know the minecart can actually make that turn. And I'm just gonna have one. That's all it needs. Okay. I'm gonna set one card on there. Now it's just gonna go back and forth. Feed that into here. And now the question is, because I'm thinking about this now, if I can actually get the. Uh... Hang on, it'll come to me. The other track in there, yes. Because I gotta have another track coming in here. Is that gonna be an issue? Well, we're gonna find out. Let's just actually let this run. Let's get two of them on there. Just to make sure nothing happens. That seems to be okay. It's fine. It's fine. Now nah, there's going to be more to that. That's just going to be supplying here. I'm going to make that a little bit longer. Go. Not there actually, because now I realize I have to put an output on here. I'll go back to here. We go output, and then go back to the minecart track. Nah, it's not going to reach now. Hmm. Oh, yeah. Uh, I can always just get rid of this and start over. Nope, that's not what I wanted to do. Get rid of that. I said get rid of that. My problem is I don't push up the mouse button properly. Okay, as long as it connects there. And perfect. We'll probably need a few track a little bit of track so that's going to be coming out of this side here so then basically what's going to happen is all the ore that comes out of here is going to go into this container it's going to get loaded up into a train i might even want to put that into a bigger container which might actually be a smarter idea have it come from this one into a bigger container so this one doesn't fill up uh get rid of this one of those can't build here. Why not? Is it because of that? No, oh, we're gonna find out. Oh, the drone. Oh, they're useless anyway, so I might as well put that truck stop back. I can rebuild them. It's not like I lose any money. What now? Okay. And what was it doing? Oh yeah, I was getting a large container in there. That's right. Then this should be turned around so I actually have room. I'm sure the trucks can go out either side. I don't think it really matters. And then we go back to here. Place that there. And we are ready to go. All right, so that's the iron. Now I'm going to do the same thing over here with the coal. Uh, I think we might actually move this one. Uh, these two we'll keep here for now, I guess. 
Uh, I probably want to start researching like pure stuff, but I do want to get like sort of a research facility over here. Uh, I wonder if we sh if I should or not. Yeah, yeah, because I'm gonna, gonna need start need that coal because we're gonna need to start making steel, and that'll be soon. So uh, let me get this set up, and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. So, yeah, I got the same thing here with the coal. As you can see, I've got it running to the back here. It's coming from the back side of this miner, or mine rig, and going to the container. With these two are feeding the container, which is coming to that pipe. I did the same thing with the gold over here. And yes, I figured out that shift will actually get you to move faster. And then this one was pretty simple big container here, small container there. These are feel feeding into the big container and this mine cart is just going back and forth here taking them or from here putting it into here and the only thing that's left to do is get a mine cart track back uh, actually go through the slope and I'm gonna do that we will add an export there and yeah so now the next step is, I think what I'm going to do is get sort of a, I was talking about a research facility, but we might not have that further back. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring all this stuff into one centralized building. So we're going to go ahead and make a, a warehouse here and, oh, we'll make it orange just because, well, not a warehouse, a factory. Now, unfortunately, you can't actually resize them afterwards, but we're going to make this a fair size since I have the cash. Probably... Trying to think here now. How big do I really want it? If I even want it there. I think I want it on the other side because I want to be able to get another road in. And I want to make sure that the building has access to both roads. And I think that'll be the smart idea. If I do it over here, probably around here somewhere. Uh, you know what, let's actually put the road in first. Because uh, the problem with the entry points is they have to be close to another one. So, as you can see, the box tells you its limits. So that's the furthest I can go out. Uh, I can rotate it, but it's not going to really look good unless it's like over here. And that's kind of where I want to have it. So I'm going to have to have another road here, but I think... Hmm, oops. Uh, the exit point, it could be anywhere, so I could start here and have it go all the way over there. So we could do that. Maybe we'll tuck it in a bit if we can. Oh, I keep hitting that right mouse button. That's my bad. We'll just put it here. Take a road, and... Let's go like so. And that's like how it limits how far you can build. Do I really want to do it that way? No, I don't. Sorry. Be nice if you could actually sort of like highlight an entire area. Get the road going the other way. I think that's what I'm going to do. And that way I can have all the truck stops close together. I'm sorry, what are you doing? Do I actually have to rotate the road? I do. Hmm. <laughs> Go figure. And... Yeah, that's what I do. Uh, let me get rid of the power lines and I'll be right back. Okay, I think I'll go with that. I had to move the power lines again, but that is fine. So let's go ahead and start a warehouse here, or a factory. And we'll get a, a fair size one. And try to have everything inside. Okay, so now what I want to do is I want to take this resource and have it inside into larger tanks. Or inner tanks, and then we can have everything coming out from here. We can have it going... 
Now, the problem with the research facilities, they have to be outside, but that doesn't mean we can't have a cart running back and forth uh, with the uh, process stuff. So let's go over here and let's get a couple in here. Almost wondering if this is going to be big enough now. Because they're going to have a couple of machines and... Yeah, it should be good. Uh, hmm. Let me actually see. This is one of the things I didn't actually know about the carts. The, the mine carts could be inside and outside. And I want to see what the turning radius is. So it's three blocks. So it's basically one square. Okay, as long as I know that, then I can have a rough idea where I can place stuff. Uh, I know the gray area you can't build. I can build there, so we're gonna have the cart coming in and turning, but it has to have room to unload. So maybe I'll do that. Space two squares apart. Now I can have three separate tracks coming in. Then all I have to do is add some doors. Uh, Hang on, I will get there eventually. I didn't think about this because I got the truck stops here. I might have to flip them around then, maybe. I think so. I'll we'll have one here for the coal, and then we'll get two more for the golden iron. And I guess I'll do it there and there just to make sure it actually goes in. We'll get wrong track wrong track and I forgot about the the thing about bobbers oh good the rail actually does actually fit there so yeah we'll do something like that then up this side we'll do it like that and we'll probably do the same on that so they can have the uh, trains coming in, they can actually unload into these containers. That one there, one there, oh, one there. And that's just a matter of getting the track over and uh, through. So let me get the rails all laid and I, I'll be right back. Okay, there we go. So yeah, so I've got the iron coming into this side here. I've got the coal coming to this side and the gold coming all the way down to here. Uh, since the gold's coming a long way, i got three cars on there now. I'm hoping I can get five in there. If not, I'll have to curve the track up the side. So that's going to have five cars. This one, I think, is just going to have three. So we got three cars going. And this one, probably the same thing. Three cars going. I have one car here, and then... Uh, over here, I got one car going back and forth. It's actually right there. So we have gold, we have iron, we have uh, coal. Cold, yes. So now, if we go on this side here, and this is where things get interesting. Uh, depends on how you define it as interesting. So what I need to do is I need to run this through the refiner, which would be this one here now. You don't really need the conveyors for this. What you can do is you just put a, a crater on the back side, and with the big tank, I can actually put two of them if I really wanted to. So, like a so. And then we put refiners at the end here. Uh, you don't actually need the, contain, uh, the conveyor for it. Uh, yes, it shows no power, but we don't have to power each individual machine. We just have to power the building itself. Are you seriously not getting power? Yeah, it's silly me, they're not even connected. Oh. Yeah, what's going on? Oh. oh power grid's good. Uh 
Oh, it only connects to the corner of the buildings. Okay. That's good to know. Alright, let's get, get rid of these. Get my money back. I'm so broke. Oh, wow. Look at that. 150 grand. Uh, yeah. Oh, these things are expensive. That's why. Anyway, let's rebuild them. Oh, I do have to put a connector, do I? Uh, it looks like it. Yeah. Oh, I missed that one. Uh, yeah, so I'll uh, get rid of... Well, I'll actually move that. Put that there. And then... Uh, one creator, two creator, or create maker. And then... Refiner, refiner, refiner. And then what I'm going to do... Uh, okay, which is the gold here? The gold I actually want to start saying some of it back over to a research bay. Now, unfortunately, the research bay has to be built within a certain area. So I can go to about here with it. And that's about it. But anyways, uh, what I'm going to do next is conveyors. Now, it's the step conveyors I actually want to start using because they're at really cheap. And I think we're going to keep drones for now. That might be a smart thing to do. And we'll go there and bring it to there. And I'm going to do that with the same with all of them. Trying to keep it uniform. Doesn't mean it's going to happen, but I'll try. Anyway, and down to about there. Then we'll use those because those unload stations are extremely expensive. Four, do I want six? Yeah, I still have to buy all my drones back too. Because I destroyed them all. Let's go four for now. Four and four. I uh, probably should get a few more doors on here so the drones can actually get out. Now, oh, I missed one. Okay. Now, I don't know if you can actually mix loads with the trucks, so I am going to try it. We're going to set priority to high and go to all. Priority high and set them all to all. And now that I'm thinking about it, I probably should just get the conveyors coming right out to here. And then having the drones pick them up outside. That might be the smartest idea. So let me get all that set up and I shall return. Okay, well that should be it for now. Uh, I got rid of these two truck stops for now. I figure as long as we can keep the trucks rolling, we should be okay. Uh, so what I've done is installed some claw tracks. I forgot to install the claws. Uh, we're going to go with two on each one. Two there. And these are just going to... I actually forgot about these. These are going to actually take the crates outside to the drones. Uh, where it's going to be nice and close to the truck stops. Okay. And then we set the priority to high on those. High on there. And high on here. And then buy a whole bunch more more drones i'm broke okay let her roll that uh, will take some time for everything to move move in but let's see how we're doing here we got five and everything is going good so this should actually go up pretty quick here oh not really quick you got three miners running at very slow speed so it's going up. Uh, so we have iron going through. It is being refined. It's going to take some time, but uh, I will let this go and uh, bring you back when things are start, things start rolling. Oh, well, you can definitely mix cargo, so that's good. And you're always trying to separate, uh, keep them separated. That's probably why I wasn't moving as much. But yeah, I'm starting to lose money here. I, I should be okay. 
really about the miners holding me up right now. So let's, I know I can speed them up with the waterworks. Let's actually see what we need for that. We'll let that run for now. Gold, and we are a long ways away from the output. But it is rolling, and we'll uh, let this go. Let's see how this is doing here. 36. So I think I might actually be able to double up this line if I had money. Which I might. Uh, to what this one is. This is gold. It's not going back with a full train. I don't like that. Go over there and have a look at it. See what's going on. Fourteen. Now it's taking time to get productive. So let's come back full. The coal is rolling, and I think I might actually be able to get a second line on here. And I noticed uh, I was looking at this. I didn't even see that. That see this. It actually allows, as you can see, it goes from one conveyor to another. So that one is doable. Uh, unfortunately, I'm about to end up broke here. Oh, I can't even sell a power plant. Could sell some research bays, though. It's always quick cash. How much is that? 20 grand a piece? Might have to do that. Oh, we got trucks going out. We should be okay. All right, let's see if we can address this gold situation, uh, this iron situation here. Oh, look at that. I have money. All right, let's spend it while we can. Come on, come on. One more draw. Uh, yeah, I might have to sell those research facilities just for now. So let's do that. Oop. I don't know what I was hitting space for some reason. I don't know what that was doing. Uh, but yeah, we'll have to sell that for the time being. Uh, what lost power? I'm assuming just the pole. I think so. Drones are all still there. All right. Well, let's get this taken care of. In fact, we'll do this with both lines just because we can. And just because we should. Actually, I can't even afford it. Uh, definitely the iron is piling up. That's actually not too bad money once, once it's refined. So we'll do, do the same thing. We'll put one of those there. We'll put another one there. And then we'll take some conveyors. We'll turn it the right way. And then we'll go like so. Now let's see how this thing works. All right, so fall zero. So then, OK, I see, I've seen that in people's screenshots, but I don't know how that actually worked. All right, so that's eight grand. Let's let her go and see what happens. Mind you, that iron could be producing a little bit quicker. Well, once I start getting the waterworks going, we should be good. Let's watch this thing. <laughs> that's so cool. Oh, here comes another one. You gotta admit, that's really cool. And such good models, too. Like, look at this. You don't even notice, but you can actually see, like, rusted texture on here. I'm really starting to enjoy this. Oh. What did I do? What did I do? Oh, yeah, that's right. Space. When you hit space, we'll actually give you whatever item you're highlighting to build with. All right. Let's actually see how much iron we have in there. 60. All right. Well, that's doing pretty good. Oh, look at that. We actually have money. In fact, well, do we need more drones? No. 
I was going to try to put... Uh, actually, I guess I could. I was going to try to put the other conveyor over here, but I couldn't get over the track. But if I come on the inside here, I should be able to do it. Let's actually try this quickly here. And we'll go, yeah, like that. And... Actually, let's go inside see if we can actually do it. If we go over the track. And yeah, it'll work. Uh, let us do that. Let me quickly pause this while I still have money. Delete all those. I don't know if I get the money back with the package. I don't really care. And I think I just sold the drone. That yeah, wouldn't be the first time. Let's see here. Nope. Nope. Let's go. Nope. No, no, not that. Wait, is that an incline? No, oh, it's an incline. Huh. I don't even notice that. Alright. No, let's follow this path here. We'll stop here because I have to add another door. Uh, let's see. Yes, magical door up in the air. And, oh, back to the track. And. And we'll just do. Do three. And we gotta get this, the unload stations there. What do I have there? Eight. There's eight. Okay, and now we just gotta do a drop off. Right there. Is that the right spot? Yes, it is. I can actually get rid of that. Just make the claw a little bit faster. Get off of that. And two claws. Alright, let's let it go. See what happens. I guess we hope if I turn that on so the drones will do their thing. And that way it just keeps them all in the same area. They got the four trucks. I originally put that one over here because of the fifth truck over here. But it should be holding up. Uh, kind of curious what the numbers are. I know it's going to be terrible. Yeah, it's starting to go up. As long as we can keep these trucks rolling, as long as we can keep the crates rolling, we should be good. But I know we're running late on this one, so I think we're going to call it and uh, continue on the next episode. We'll start getting some more research. We'll try to hit that 4,000 so we can get the truck loaders so we can start producing big time. Anyways, thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Later.